Autoplaying video on your Divi website is a great way to add some spark, but you have to do it in the correct way, otherwise the browser will block your content. I'm Victor at divimundo.com and in this tutorial I'm going to use the default Divi video module and add some code that we can trigger autoplay. We are going to recreate this nice look and feel that you can see on elgenthemes.com and on several other professional websites. So you will find all the code snippets and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com and the link is of course in the description below this YouTube video. So just a few words about why autoplaying video can be a bit complicated. And this is about user experience. I myself and uh, I guess most other users think it's uh, quite annoying when the video starts playing with sound, maybe with loud volume when you're in the office or on the bus. So you want to have control over that. So it all boils down to the audio. So if you can mute the sound in your video, then autoplay is allowed by Google Chrome and uh, Firefox and Safari and most other major browsers. But we'll also look at how we can let the user unmute the video. And before we start, just a little disclaimer here. This technique does not work with embedded YouTube videos or Vimeo videos. So this is only for your own self-hosted video files. For example, if you upload an MP4 video or a .mov video to your uh, WordPress media li library or if you host it somewhere else. So let's get started with the first method for autoplaying video. And uh, you can see a live demo here. So this starts the video by default and uh, the sound is muted. But if you hover the video screen, you can see the control buttons and the timeline appearing. So I can pause the video, I can jump in the timeline, and I can also unmute it and change the volume. So if we play here, yep, yeah, we can hear the sound. So let's mute that one again. We can click the full screen mode, like that. And we have some more options here to the right. Dots, come on, there we go. Download, playback speed, picture in picture. So that's just the default options in the DV video module that will appear when you hover. To achieve this, we'll start by copying this script. Okay, click this little square button to copy all the 12 rows here of code. And I'll head over to my website, the WordPress dashboard, and I'll go to DV and theme options in the left hand menu. And I'll head over to the integration tab and scroll down to the second field saying add code to the body. So I'll just paste the script here and it's important that you start here with script in brackets and then you end here with the slash in the bracket. So let's scroll down, click save changes. That's the first step. So now let's add the video. We can create a new page or could be a post as well. We can call it video. Oops. A loop and I'll use the Divi Builder because we're going to use the default Divi video module in this tutorial. Here's my empty page. I'll insert a row and I'll insert a video and I'll insert a video module. So by default Divi will insert this Divi promotional video from YouTube. So if we hover this one here we'll have this trash can icon where we can remove it. And now we can add our own video. So I click the plus icon. So I can either upload the file here from my computer or I can check the media library and see if there are any videos there. And I actually have one uploaded already. I'll choose that one and I click upload video, which is a bit strange since it's already uploaded, but that's WordPress standard, I guess. If I would preview it now, it would just be a regular video module. It would not autoplay or loop. So for that to happen, I need to add a CSS class. So we'll head over to the advanced tab and CSS ID and classes. And let's see which CSS class that we are using. So we are at the step five. And for this one, we should add the class DM autoplay BTN 
OK. So we'll go to the field CSS class in the advanced tab of the video module and I'll paste it DM or play button with the hyphens and let's save it. You will not see any difference here in the visual builder because it will not autoplay. But if we save this, we can preview it in front end. And now you can see that it's actually autoplaying. And if I hover, we can see the controls here for the video. We can unmute it. So that's the first example. So we have method two, because maybe you don't want to display the video controls on hover Maybe you want to have it like here on Elegant Themes website where you hover and nothing happens. Let's start here by copying this script and head back to the dashboard and we'll go to Divi and Theme Options again. And we'll head over to Integration and let's remove the method number one code and paste the new one. And uh, let's save the changes. Okay, we'll go back to the page that I just created and uh, we can actually edit the, the same video module because I removed the old script. Now this one will not work with the autoplay. So we'll head in here and we'll go to the advanced tab and we'll add the corresponding CSS class for the script. So for this one, I think it's just DM our autoplay because there are no buttons. Let's see here, number five at the class DM autoplay, DM hyphen autoplay. Yeah, so we'll head back to the page. I just removed the last four characters. So now it's the CSS class DM autoplay. Let's save changes and exit the visual builder to have a look in front of it. We can see that the autoplay is active and when I hover it, nothing happens. Nice. So let's have a look at the last example, the last method that we can use. And that's number three, autoplay video and add unmute on click. So this one autoplays and you have no buttons when you hover. But if I click anywhere in this video window, the audio will be unmuted. And if I click again, the audio will be muted. So I can turn it on and off like this. So in order to do that, I'll copy this script. I'll head back to my website. You know the drill by now. I go to the dashboard, Divi, theme options, integration, and I'll remove code and I'll paste the new one. And let's scroll down and save the changes. And uh, I can actually see already here that the CSS class will be dm-autoplay-click. So I can actually copy that one to save some time and we'll go to pages and video loop and let's edit the video module. We'll go to the advanced tab and CSS ID and classes and we'll change the CSS class to DM hyphen autoplay hyphen click and let's exit the visual builder. Okay, we have the autoplay, no buttons, and when I click, the sound turns on. So I actually have a bonus for you guys if you have sticked around this long in this video. And that's number four, add a custom mouse cursor to unmute on a click. So this is a variation of number three. So if you look closely, you can see this purple speaker icon. And when I click, the sound will go off. So let's mix things up. And um, since we already have added the code from uh, chapter three with the click to unmute feature, we just need to add the mouse icon because this is a PNG image. And we need to add a little bit of custom CSS. And there's a complete uh, blog post on this subject. It's called how to use images as mouse cursors. So this is a guide on how you can use different images as mouse cursors. So that's the technique that we're going to use here. So we'll copy this CSS snippet to start with. And we'll head back to the website. 
on the dashboard. And first, you need to upload an image for your custom mouse cursor. So I'll go to Media and Library. And uh, I already uploaded this one. And in um, the blog post, you can find all the specifications on formats uh, and uh, sizes and stuff and what you should think about when you create this type of icon. And you can also download a few for free. So this one, I need to copy this URL. So I'll start by clicking copy URL to clipboard. And now we'll go to Divi and theme customizer to add some custom CSS. I'll go to additional CSS in the bottom and uh, I'll start by just pasting this URL. Uh, don't save because this is not correct CSS. Uh, this is just a temporary note. So I'll head back to my blog post and uh, I'll copy the snippet again and I'll go back to the theme customizer. And let's paste it above there. So we have DM Autoplay Click, that's the class that we gave the, the autoplayed video module. And then we have cursor URL and you should replace this, the red text here, with the URL to your own custom mouse cursor. And you can use the full URL with the domain or you can use a relative URL starting with slash WP hyphen content. So I'll do that and I'll paste it here. Make sure that there's no space and let's publish. Close this one and head back to the page that we were editing. And here we go. We have the looping video autoplayed and we have this nice mouse cursor. And when I click it, we have some sound. That's all for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by leaving a comment, a like or subscribe to my channel. See you next time for more Divi and WordPress tutorials. Thank <laughs> you.